Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I am back again with the stress test number four where I did the calibration cube. Uh, there were a few issues. One, I measured the wrong directions when I was putting the caliper on it. I'm going to reprint this. I'm going to do that again. Uh, the second reason is if you look at the back of that video there or the where it's attached to the bed, uh, that's black filament. Uh, I had some black still in the printer and I didn't purge it well, and I think that's why the corner didn't look well, and I'm also going to try and lower my bed a little so I'm a little further away and see if maybe I get closer to the proper Z uh, when we do this print because the X and the Y were actually pretty close to accurate but I've got one other question or thought um, even if we find out that it's off on Z there's no way to edit the steps uh, for the firmware on the A net there's no menu choices for changing your E steps on these A net printers uh, I looked up G code and we could send an M92 and put that in the start of our Kira code uh, but I couldn't read what the steps currently are for the ANET. I tried to load pronter face and when I sent an M501 it did not give me back the information that it has on different printers. So I'm not sure how to find out what the E steps currently are and what we'd want to change them to. But with all that stuff out there you guys can comment below if you've got ideas about it. I'm going to send this to the printer. This time I'm also going to get you a time lapse so we can see it printed and then we'll see where it measures and I'll actually get those measurements in the right directions. So let's get cracking. All right, so we're not going to run through all this. It is the exact same shape as yesterday, still using the 0.15 layers. I am going to reset this to its default really quickly. And then if we just look, it is still just like we did it the other way. I'm going to change this to 15 instead of cubic. I do want to go back to the lines. Uh, temperature, I'm going to stay 200, and I'm going to stay 60. Print speed, I'm going to stay with the profile's defaults, 50. I'm going to enable the retraction. I'm going to keep the cooling like it has been. Once again, I'm going to switch to skirt. And I want to have four lines of skirt. I'm going to make them 10 millimeters away. And I'm going to keep that minimum of 250. And because we are working with it connected via USB, we can hit print via USB and hit that beautiful blue button. Alrighty friends, uh, did not have problems with it adhering, but it was not on there super snug. Got our caliper, we'll set it for zero, and let's first measure X. So today we'll get all our little duckies in a row, and we're at 19.8 on X. Let's check Y. On Y it's somewhere close to 19.89. All right, and let's check Z, which would mean it went up the Y. You can see here, so this way I can show you that the Y is right, and we're at about 19.7. So not too bad for a printer that's essentially stock. All righty, friends, so all of the measurements in the end are well past 19.5, or they were actually all past 19.7, which isn't bad. Um, my big question I still have is, with the firmware being locked, is there a way that we could even, maybe in Kira, send a new E-step uh, to help the Z go up? Or is there any chance you guys are seeing something I'm doing wrong in my settings where I don't have it close enough to the bed? Um, this seemed just about right. I had a decent first layer, and it came off the bread super easy. So I think I've got all my stuff right. I think it might just be a little bit off on its E-steps, but not enough that it causes any issues. I mean, this is a print that I'd be happy with in my classroom for what I'm doing. I'm not trying to make money with my printer. I'm just teaching kids how to 3D print. Alrighty, friends, so if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button, and last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.